Survey results in two local school districts offer new insight on the impact of the COVID crisis tonight. How has it affected students and staff members and will they return to school if in-person learning resumes in the fall? 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has the answers first here on 7. Of the about 5,700 students in the West Bloomfield School District, the district tells me 50 lost either a parent or primary caregiver to COVID-19. Those losses were on people's minds as they filled out a survey sent out by the district. We surveyed our staff last week and um, our parents, the survey went out last evening. We already have over a thousand responses in less than 24 hours. Deanna Barish is the assistant superintendent of teaching and learning in the West Bloomfield School District. She says about 30% of both staff and families surveyed did not think they would feel comfortable returning to school in the fall. I know there's a lot of, of discomfort in our community about that because we have been hit so hard and I really um, have a lot of just, uh, you know, sympathy for our, our families and our kids who are really going to come back to a completely different world. That's why the district announced last week Unless something drastically changes in the fight against COVID-19, it plans to offer either both online learning exclusively or a hybrid program that allows social distancing as kids spend half their time in class and half online. The Bloomfield Hill School District also surveyed parents and staff. The results, similar. Only 73% of parents right now believe they will feel comfortable sending their child to school in person. For staff, 30% are uncomfortable or extremely uncomfortable returning to school in person. In the city hardest hit by the virus in Michigan, the Detroit Public Schools Community District tells 7 Action News it plans to send out a survey next week. The fear is that, you know, by going to work each and every day, that you may be bringing something home to your family. Terrence Martin is president of the Detroit Federation of Teachers. At least 11 Detroit Public Schools Community District staff members have lost their lives to COVID-19. Teachers are seeing the CDC guidelines and calling the union, wondering if they're even possible to follow. If we did what the CDC uh, recommended that we do, uh, you may have six to eight to nine children in one classroom. But what makes it extremely difficult here in Detroit uh, is that we don't have the resources to make a lot of these recommendations happen. As school leaders are trying to address these concerns, they tell me they're also concerned that school budgets are going to face cuts from the state because of the COVID-19 crisis. In West Bloomfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. A state